Members of Parliament on Kosase have just returned from State House and Tebe where they were investigating and uh, interacting with President Yoram Seveni on what the criteria for awarding the six billion shillings was. And when I spoke to the committee chairperson, Abdul Katuntu, this is what he told me. Oh, it went on very well. Uh, you know, yesterday we couldn't complete what we are discussing because uh, His Excellency President had a guest. So this afternoon we had the opportunity to have another two and a half hours with him and uh, he managed to clarify you know, all the issues we put to him. Uh, there is one aspect which we, he has proposed as, uh, a solution in the interim, especially regarding the six billion uh, shillings. Uh, he has some proposal which we are going to discuss and um and and, and uh, they have to issue a joint statement we are going to discuss it as a committee and then take a decision however for all the issues we have discussed we have agreed that we are going to issue a joint statement uh my office and his and that should be done first thing tomorrow uh, we were working on that very statement getting our secretaries to get all the minutes compare them and then we inform the public tomorrow morning uh, what transpired. The only thing I can confirm now is on all issues we put to him, he gave a clarification or he gave his side of the story. Uh, and and uh, it's now up to the committee to digest and then uh, make findings on the responses together with the evidence we already have on record. On the issue of the six billion shillings, he, he, he made some proposals. And one of the proposals is to see how we get the money which was uh, paid from Uganda revenue authority accounts replenished uh, because uh, his excess the president actually did own the authorization of that payment. Uh, and uh, what we also agreed that the president does not control Uganda Revenue Authority accounts. Uh, so he has provided some way forward, which has discussed with, with us, and uh, we, we shall be able to give you the details. But what I can also confirm is that uh, we are looking at a replenishment of that money. I, I, can, I can now confirm that uh, one of the ministers who signed the production sharing agreement uh, and exempted uh, the oil company uh, payment of tax, we discussed that particular exemption, we discussed that particular minister, and we are going to interview uh, that particular minister. I can also confirm that she's the Home Oversight Bumba as a committee, and then we shall decide one or the other. But I can confirm we discussed the 175 million exemption uh, which led to the Talo case against the government of Uganda. I can also confirm that um, that production sharing agreement was signed by the Honorable Said Abumba. And we are going to have her as the last witness on that particular aspect and we shall have a, a decision. We have also discussed and agreed that on issues of accountability, we shall go all the way. And he doesn't have any problem with it. Uh, so without going into names, because we have not yet taken a decision as a committee, that we have agreed. Uh, because it is our job, we are an accountability co uh, committee. So that's not a big deal we have. We have also discussed many other issues, including uh, the portfolio of recoverable costs within the oil and gas uh, sector. Uh, we have also discussed the management of the petroleum fund and many other issues which we shall give details in the joint statement. I, I can confirm we have agreed that uh, rewards as a policy we need a, to have a law in place and he has also instructed the Attorney General, he's going to instruct the Attorney General to work with us and we come up with a law. We discussed that in detail and we seem to be of the same uh, mind. Actually, President Jerome Seveni was supposed to be the last person to appear before the Kosase. In this investigation 
of the six billion golden handshake as it has come to be known. However, during the course of this meeting, the two-day meeting with President Yoram Seveni, the committee found out that Saeed Bomba, the former Minister for Energy, authorized a tax exemption as a single minister, which was not her mandate. And in the coming days we'll be seeing and hearing from her as she appears before Kosase to justify why she did what she did. Shirandochre, NTV at Parliament.